So what do we have here? Okay, nice. Ibanez, uh, hollow body electric. It's a cool guitar. It's in great shape. I give you 400 bucks for it. I think I'll just keep it. Neil Armstrong brought it back from the moon. Well, I'd have to have my moon exer come out and test that. So what do you think? I think it's a rock. <laughs> and rock I'm and get, there's no shortage of rocks in this world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got to have to have some authentication paperwork with that. What do we got? I have a 1956 autographed picture signed from Elvis Presley. OK, can I take a look at it? Yeah. You see that right there? You see where the ink's darker right there? Yeah. That tells me that when someone was sitting there drawing this, they waited to trace his signature oh. or something. It's not Elvis' it signature. So 1943 imprint of a very famous book from the Reformation. But it's not very collectible, so I'm not going to pass it on to the guys. What do you have? The entire collection of Samuel Pepys, as well as John Evelyn. All right. Oh, wow, these bindings. These are beautiful. And honestly, you don't tend to see this type of binding. Oh, wow. There's, there's a lot happening here. Hot Wheels, cool. I like the carnival glass. We have the flute. Yes. One of the ways you know it's not a really expensive flute is the really expensive ones are made of silver. Bacteria can't grow on silver. Well, it's a real $1 bill, yeah, with a sticker on it. The US Treasury did not make a Michael Jordan $1 bill. <laughs> this is some type of Jewish casket. I mean, it looks like a decorative box, and it's definitely made within the past hundreds of years. Rolex Submariner, not too much wear. Can we take seven? I'll take seven. OK, sweet, $7,000. You bring it right over the cashier, talk to Judy, she'll get you paid. Thanks, sir. All right, no Have problem. Have a great day. This looks extremely dark. <laughs> Come on, you and your friends sat in a circle and played with one of these back in the 70s. Um, yeah, oh yeah, when we were little kids. And you were the guy that actually moved no, it. Move along, it's on. OK. My girlfriend's grandparents, they had it. Yeah, it looks I like a know. decanter just wrapped in leather. So this is probably like a home project. If it was expensive, it would have some type of marking on it, because someone would be very, very proud of the price they were going to yeah, get for it. <laughs> so I have a Phil Stern silver gelatin print of James Dean. You know, one of the guys that invented cool, I'd give you about 500 bucks for it. I actually paid like 1100 for it, so I think I'll have to just put it back on my wall. I have got a 1970s Mickey Mouse phone. I was like eight years old. I would hate my parents if they didn't buy this for me. I'd start, I just wouldn't talk to them for a week. <laughs> I'll give you 40 bucks. Can't go lower than 75. Okay, maybe we'll make a deal next time. Who's next? It's a fur coat that was made in Alaska. Um, it looks absolutely amazing, and I'm sure it's probably worth a fortune to someone. But I have no luck with clothes. I don't know if it's in fashion. You're my fashion expert. You don't worry about fashion, Rick. It's a Furby from 1996. Okay. Um... So they actually talk. And they talk even without you talking. And they talk in furbish, right? They talk in furbish. Mm -hmm. Like. <laughs> yeah, but, but please, let's turn it up. Yeah. Do you know what Alienware is? No. Made in Czechoslovakia. Can you see why they called it Alienware? Definitely out of this world. Whose are these? Those are mine. Are these all rock posters? They are, sir. Screen prints, huh? So it's an old Zenith radio. Uh, it was military specs. They're like bulletproof. I'm sure the thing still works today. Absolutely. I'm seeing like 200 bucks here. You just like to take risk 1500. OK. Thanks for coming in, though. What do you got? That's an uh, old Estonian currency. Kane autograph and John Cena. Oh, you got any uh, paperwork for those? No, no, not with me. Continental Airlines, I remember them. They're uh, united now. Legend has it that they made a small run of these internally as Christmas gifts for some of the pilots. It's one of those things where it's called supply and demand. There might be a very small supply of these, but there's going to be next to another demand. This is a music box from Germany. You know, this is a nicer one, but it's still a modern piece. But thanks for bringing it in. What have we got here? 1974 Batman Robin clock. The old 60s show. It was like a phenomenon for a while. It was so damn cheesy. <laughs> the toys lasted forever. I'll give you 40 bucks for it. OK, I'd use 40 bucks. This is a tin toy from Germany pre-World War I. So this is actually pretty cool. I've never seen one that went back and forth like that, and it's a bullfighter. What would your right price be? 450 I can meet you at 425 OK. Computer, very cool, Apple II Plus. This is the computer that made them a really large company. How much are you looking to get for it? 2000 $700. All right, Deal? I'll okay. do it. What do we got here? 
Got a wooden chess piece puzzle. I mean, it looks really new. The construction is definitely newer. It's very interesting. It's just not for me. This is cool. Seize candy, Barbie. This looks like it was probably done in the late 90s, early 2000s. A Barbie like this would have been made to be collectible. It is very cool, not very valuable. If the coin was worth a bunch of money, it wouldn't be out on your finger for you to bang around. Because it was put in a piece of jewelry, mm -hmm. it was made just for the aesthetics of the jewelry. Your abacus, I don't know enough about okay, it to buy, good. but uh, it's really, really cool. It brings back memories learning how to use one in like the second grade. That's cool. <laughs> I have a bowling pin signed from a bowling hall of famer, Wayne Webb. Typically, the autographs of sports players, yeah. the autograph doesn't become very valuable until they pass away. Would you take 80 bucks for it? I would take 80 bucks for it. All right, I don't know if I'm overpaying or underpaying, but I could do 80 for it. OK. This is a car seat from the 1970s. Yeah. Wow, that looks dangerous. <laughs> I am going to just have to pass on this because I'm afraid if I sold it to somebody, they might try to use it. <gasps> What's in the box? We have a box of kindergarten blocks. Quite honestly, I've never had a whole lot of luck with them. And whose wagon is this? That's our wagon also. A Piggly Wiggly wagon. Piggly Wiggly was the first self-serve grocery store. They had little wagons, and you'd walk around and actually pick your own stuff out. An amazing concept for the time. 99.9%, .9 these aren't wooden. They look like wood, but oh, I see these it. are uh, modern plastic dice. This is a Panasonic Tuta Loop radio, meant for active people. It meant to go around your arm. This is just a nostalgic piece. I'll give you 30 bucks for it because it's cute. Is that okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, they'll take care of you right over there. OK, thank you. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> it looks like the real deal. I'll give you 400 bucks for the pair. Because the blocks I really don't want, the Piggly Wiggly wagon I want. Well, I don't want to carry it home, so I would love to leave these with you with the wagon to pull them. Oh, that's great, because I don't have to carry them home. I can put them in the wagon. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we got them here. All right, we got a deal, 400 bucks. Thank Thanks. What do we got here? It's a hand-carved Kuan Yin, goddess of mercy, and I think it's from Thailand. I'm not too familiar with the goddess Kuan Yin, but what I can tell you is that this is not hand-carved. Oh. What do we have here? The mask I got when I was in Indonesia. Without any markings on it, it's hard to value it for me, but um, it is really, really cool. This is a 1950s brownie Kodak uh, Hawkeye camera. All right, what are you looking to do with it? I know the retail price is about 75, so I was kind of asking 50. I'd give you 20. Deal. Sounds Deal? Great. Okay. They'll take care of you right over there. Yes, sir. I was telling him I can make him an offer based on the guitar, not on the autograph. Those aren't real. OK, so when someone fakes an autograph, the first thing they do is they put the pen down, do it, and then stop and pull it up. When you do your own autograph, you just go. And what have we got here? An uh, 1880s French book press for book binding. What are you looking to get for it? I was looking to get a thousand. It's not that uncommon. I'd give you about 400 bucks. I'll take 500. I'll, take, I'll go 450. I'll take 450. OK, um, then see her down there at the end. She'll take care of you. OK. 1976 $2 bills. Yes. For some reason, everyone thought they were collectibles, and everybody and their brother bought them, and they're impossible to sell. Got the Times Magazine from 1982. And every single person in this town has one. So you guys interested in getting it? No, it's not collectible at all. This was your way of being in the Midwest somewhere, living on a farm, looking in the future. But it's a replica of a series of like catalog. Yeah, it's there's zero value here. I'm sorry. We have a pirate monkey holding an apple. Why in the world did you ever buy this? I, I asked myself that same question. <laughs> Two Art Nouveau lamps from 1880 to 1910 is when the sculptor lived. What do you think about these, Corey? They didn't have AC lamps that plugged into the wall in the 1910, so we can rule that out right here. And the silver dollars, how much you want for them? 2500 Dollars? Yes. They're old coins. They're like from like 1879. I mean, I'm really old, too, and I'm not worth a lot of money. <laughs> I believe it is a paint sample of a 1940s or 50s Hudson. If I could guess, it was more than likely a decoration that was farmed out to Hudson dealerships, car dealerships, stuff like that. Yeah, you can see like the brush strokes and right. stuff in it. If they were going to represent the style that they were going to paint in, it wouldn't be like this. I don't just have to pass. I'm sorry. That's all right. Thank okay. you. Thank you. There was no radios at the house. You know, record players sucked. It's the most portable instrument you can get. Um, and Honer was really, really big. I mean, I'd give you 50 bucks for it. 
Yeah, I think uh, Beijing is my granddad's uh, tag. My 2017 World Championship Pokemon Messenger Bag. This would have been given out at the 2017's World's Pokemon. You had to make it like into the top 64 to get this particular bag. So this is like really special and pretty limited. Would you take 250 for it? I'd have to pass. I have two antique fog lamps from 30s, 40s. Fog King lamps. What I can tell you is they're not from any particular car. If they were the original fog lamps that came off a Hudson or a Packard, they could actually be worth some money. They're just generic fog lamps. What do we got? I have a box. This is a German pigeon racing <coughs> clock. I don't have the key, but there might be something in there you don't know. <laughs> I'll give you 50 bucks for it. OK. I bought a mystery box. Yes. Yeah, maybe there's some secret documents in there from DC. Who knows? <laughs> What do you have here, a championship belt? Yeah, I got a Stone Cold replica belt I got at a WWE Raw event. Um, I'd offer about 125 bucks. Ah, no, can't do it, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Here's your trains. OK, so um, if you look at the back, it's modern. It's got a zip code plus four, which means it's made in the past 20 years. So not for me. This is a teletype machine. OK. Um, what you have here is real interesting, man. But here's my issue. It will never work because the phone systems don't work off a rotary system anymore. It's right. just something to show kids what we had before internet and stuff like that. But I appreciate you coming down. All right, thanks. So what do we have here? This is an ornate water pin and features Ty Cobb. This is pretty interesting. Ty Cobb, one of the best baseball players that has ever lived. How much are you looking to get out of it? 5,000. I would give you 800 bucks for it. Uh, I'll keep it, then. It does open. This is cool. Probably this would have been in a classroom. Would you take 100 bucks on the tooth? Yes. All right. Back in the day, you would have your milk delivered every day because they didn't have refrigeration, and by the next day, it would probably be going bad. And this is what they came in. They're pretty common, but I would give you 20 bucks for it. Okay. All right, bring it to the cashier. You got 20 bucks. Thank you. Little clay. <laughs> Vegetable dolls. They were my grandfather's. He was born in 1898, so somewhere around that time period. They are really cool. They both have a little damage on them. Would be willing to buy them at about $35 each. All right, 35 it is. All right, 70 bucks. You could take these up to the counter and they'll get you paid. What do you got? I have a custom ring. The coin inside of it is an 1853 22 karat gold, gold dollar. Okay, so. The coin is 22 karat gold, but it's fake. A real gold coin is struck for the pressing machine. This is cast. Oh, wow. Well. But it isn't worth its weight in gold. All right, we can do that. OK. 35 millimeter. Pentax has been around for a long time, and film is making a comeback. It's the cool thing to do again. Probably could go about 25 on it if you wanted to. Gotcha. You can think about it if you want. I'll be here all day. All right. I have a 1935 copy of Peter Pan. This is um, this is bad shape. And uh, it's definitely not a first edition. It's really not worth anything. Great book, though. Great read. Yeah. A lot different than the movie, just so you know. It's a piece of the Hubble Space Telescope. It was presented to my father for his service at NASA. This was in space for nine years. This is super cool, man. I'll give you uh, 500 bucks for it. Uh, I think it's going to stay in my family for that. I hope it does, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for your time. So what do we got here? So this is a ticket from the Beatles at Shea Stadium, 1965. Problem is, is every single person that went to this massive mega show saved their ticket stub. This is my grandfather's court. Would you take 25 bucks for it? What about 30? Just because I want it, I'll give you $30 for it. But don't tell Rick. OK. All right, you can go over to the counter, and they'll get you paid. What's up with this? Oh, man, this is sealed Star Wars right here, VHS. Okay. I'm going to give you a little bit of advice. OK. Anytime you see anything that says special edition on it, yeah. don't buy it. Oh. It's a special edition. It's not the first edition. The first edition is the one that's worth money. I have a diamond and sapphire ring. I found walking my dog. Found walking your dog. How much you want for it? I want 1,000, at least. Not going to happen. It's a really bad sapphire. See how it doesn't sparkle? What's the best price you can give me? 150 bucks. I think I'm going to hold on to it. What do you got? A four million year old tooth from a megalodon. Giant prehistoric shark-like animal. They lost thousands and thousands of teeth during their lifetime, and they shed them. And people hunt for them. I'll give you 250. 
I'll do that. It's just been sitting on the shelf, so. Okay. 250, we got a deal. So you have a stamp out. Yes, sir. Okay, um, you have a bunch of stamps in here. Some of them could be worth an absolute fortune, but they all have to be sent off and be graded to do it. It's about 70 bucks a piece, and a lot of times you send them off thinking that they're super rare, then they're worth a dollar. People call it stained glass, but it's not. This is colored glass. Okay. Um, this was really popular right around 1900. It's cool. I mean, a lot of work went into it, but it, this, this is a fireplace cover. You have to have the exact fireplace it fits in. Um, just not for me. Okay. Singer sewing machines are really cool, especially these older ones. But the thing with old sewing machines is the timing starts to wear, and they are very expensive to repair. But even not working, people still do collect them. Would you take 75 for it? How about 100? I could take a shot at 100 bucks. Um, that's a deal. Just go ahead inside and get paid. You can leave this right here. I know it's pretty heavy. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you. I've got four Marx Brothers signatures together. OK, that is great. The Marx Brothers were the biggest act in vaudeville. Ended up getting in the movies right after the talkies started. They were just huge. But my problem is younger generation doesn't know of them. It's a tough sell. Stereoscopes were very popular. You would have two different images on there, and you would place it right here, and then you would look through it, and you would see a 3D image. It's super cool. I'm in it at, like, the $100 range. $100? I don't really think I'm interested. OK. Interested. All right, well, I appreciate you bringing it by. It's super cool. Diplomatic passport, you don't see one of these every day. Legally, would they believe the exception of murder? This guy could go to any other country and commit that crime, and it was illegal to arrest him. Wow. Really cool to see one. Unfortunately, I don't have a market for some other guy's okay. passport. Yeah, um, totally. An antique sugar shaker. It's pretty cool, actually. Uh, it's got some nice, fine detail on it. It definitely has the look of English silver. How much are you looking to get for it? Uh, I was hoping to get 300. 300? Um, 300's fair. I can do 300 for this. OK. All right, um, you could take this up to the counter and they'll pay you $300 for it. OK. Thank you. Thank you. 1960s Play School. Kind of cool. Um, Play School was actually started by a Milwaukee teacher in the 1920s. And she wanted uh, durable toys that she could use in a classroom. It's not the most desirable toy, but it will sell. And uh, give me 30. Thank you very much. I'll take it. Sweet. I've got a uh, made in occupied Japan porcelain figurines. When we got the unconditional surrender from Japan, we were over there basically telling them, you can make little porcelain figurines and sell them for your economy, but you better not be making any bombs or tanks or weapons and stuff like that. Unfortunately, they weren't that good at this kind of stuff, <laughs> and I'm just going to have to pass on it. OK. So this would have been for Batman Returns, right? Yep. Well, that's odd. The cards are numbered, but they're not in order. It's so that whenever they did cut the cards, you really do get a randomized pack. Oh, wow. This is really cool. I would love to buy it. Would you take 100 for it? Yeah. OK, we got a deal. All right, thank you. Go ahead and take it up to the counter. They'll get you paid. Got it. All right, let's see what else I can find around here. All right, oh, if yeah. anything jumps out of this box at me. Oh, it won't. OK, well, what do we got here? Tell me what you have. 1940s cigarette holder. All right. If I had to guess this is some kid's shop project in school, I'm not seeing any markings, name brands on it, anything like that. Fortunately, there's just nothing I can do with it. A Thunder Jet crew car. Yes. This is probably 1960s. It's the body style of a 1960s car. How much you want for it? 1200 Not going to happen. Not old enough. It was from the 1930s. Those were the ones that were worth a fortune. It's not for me. <laughs> what do we have? Some Tiffany? Tiffany vases. And what are you looking to do with these? Sell them. How much are you looking for? 150 I'm honestly not 100% sure they're authentic, but they look really good. I can do 150 on these. Thank you. Hey there. What do we got here? We have a 1966 Gibson LG-0. OK. Gibson, American made. It's just a classic guitar company. It looks beautiful. Thank you. It's in good shape. And how much do you want for it? I was thinking maybe 500 I'm not sure what they go for, honestly. I would actually give you a little bit more than that. Thank you for your honesty. <laughs> I'd actually give you like 650 bucks would be a more, a more fair price. So uh, yeah, absolutely. That... Thank you. All right, 650. Just uh, bring it uh, right over there to that table. They'll okay. write you up. Bad you. magazine number 550, April 2018, landmark final issue. I loved this magazine when I was a kid. Uh, they made fun of everybody. They didn't care who you were. They would make fun of you. How much you want for it? 100. The best I can go is 30 bucks. 
All right. I have an iconic piece of movie history. This suit was made for and worn by Arnold Schwarzenegger in the movie True Lies. I think it's super cool, but I have one really big concern. I don't think Arnold wore a size small. I have a 1920 Supertone mandolin. Okay, let me take a look at it real quick. I don't see anything too bad with it, but it looks like you have concrete in here or something. As long as there's something rattling around in there, it's not going to be worth much. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Uh, Joan Miro? Yes. I've seen this before. And the original one, it wasn't signed like this. The problem with Miro is there's so much fake stuff out there. If you um, were able to authenticate it, I would definitely be interested in it. But without that, I would definitely just have to pass okay. on it. You got a um, bottle that was specifically done for uh, Lyndon Johnson prior to uh, him becoming president. It's got a lot of history. It's got some history to it, but I just don't even know what to do with it. I mean, I have no idea the price on okay. it or anything else no like problem. that. No problem. What do you have here? A pair of 1960s Jadal chain sunglasses. OK, these are cool. I don't know much about the maker. Would you take 50? Would you do 65? Only because I want them for myself, I'll do okay. 65. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Do I look they good in them? Put them over your ears. They're earrings. Beautiful. I sure am, aren't I? <laughs> looks like an old ice box, maybe? Yeah, this looks like 1900, maybe all the way up to the 1920s, just the way it's constructed. It's cold storage for something, most likely. How much you want for it? 1200 Not going to happen. <laughs> OK, uh, what is going to happen? I'll give you 300 bucks for it. I'll do it. Sweet. Yeah, just take it inside. They'll get you paid. All right, thank you very much. I have a lamp from the early 1900s. Yeah, these are really cool. People do like to decorate their house in these. Not tons and tons of value in them, but they are collectible. But a lot of the value does come with the lampshade also mm. being present. So as cool as it is, I think it would just be a pass for me. Political cartoon from the 1930s. It's definitely cool, my man. I understand seeing it and thinking it'd be worth some money. But every single newspaper in this country has a guy that does these comic strips. Yeah. I don't know of this guy. I haven't heard of this guy. It's not something I'm really going to be able to do anything with. What do we got? I have a vest worn by Fran Drescher <laughs> on the set of The Nanny. OK. Um, looks like something she would wear in The Nanny. I just don't know enough about Fran Drescher clothes to make you an offer on it. Um, <laughs> not for me. Okay. Thanks, though. All right. Thank you so much. I have my father's 1931 Christmas present. Ah, uh, that's pretty amazing. Wish you would have sold this to me 20 years ago. You know, it's one of those things where prices don't always go up. The collector base has, is, is, has moved on. I had a Game Boy here. Does it still work? Yes. Oh, I see you have Tetris with it, Dr. Mario. OK, you have a couple popular games in there. But there's a lot, a lot of them out there. Um, so I would just pass on it. The great thing about old fire extinguishers like this is firefighters are one of those people that love their jobs and they collect the stuff that they do. So these things can actually go for a little bit of money. They are collectible. What are you trying to get out of it? I would like probably 300. I could do about 150. OK, I'll sell it for 150. It does have the Gucci lining in it, so it most likely is Gucci. It's in pretty bad shape, though. What are you looking to get I'd for? I'd like to get 600. If you want it, I would do 250. If not, it's a beautiful bag to take back home with you. I think I'll take it back home. All right, thank you. <laughs> thank you, I appreciate it. What do we have here? I think it's a railroad light. Uh, I don't think it's a railroad light. Really? More than likely, there was a guy that stood in the center of the street, and he would turn it, stop, okay. and go. Stop, and go. Um, yeah. It's cool. Um, it would be 75 bucks for it. It's a paperweight. I might just use it as a paperweight. Okay. <laughs> a Japanese juicer, OK. This would have probably been right around 1950. Probably a GI was over there or something like that. Well, it's not worth a fortune, but I would give you 50 bucks. Um, I think I'll pass on that and keep it. OK. I have a 1989 license plate from the presidential inaugural parade. This is pretty cool, man. 1989, so was that Bush? Yep, the first Bush. What are you looking to do with it? I'd like to sell it. How much are you looking for? 200. Would you take 75 for it? Could you give me 80 for it and call it a day? I'll give you $80. All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Dan Barry Minute, Princess Diana, the wedding doll. And you didn't play with it. Good. Yeah. Okay. They were allowed to. Probably 20% of them were saved like this because everyone thought it would be collectible and be worth a fortune one day. But since so many people collected them, they're not that much of a fortune. I'll give you 100 bucks for it. I'll do it. All right, we got a deal. 
got an autographed jacket from Ringo Starr. Oh, wow. It's super cool, but um, is someone going to buy this to display it? Or are they going to buy it to wear it? I really don't know. I would love to buy it, but I'd just offer you $800 on it because I know it's going to be a hard sell. I'll take the uh, All right, you can take it up there and get paid. Thank you. It's not a whiskey jug. It's Growler. Say, like Saturday, you'd send your kid down to the bar, go get me some beer. And this is what they would pour it in. You'd bring it back home. How much you want for it? Uh, I was thinking 500 Go 150 I think I'm good. OK, I tried. 1991 Dale Earnhardt Black. OK. Just a you know, real tragic story how he passed. But I mean, he made NASCAR what it is today. What are you looking to get out of it? Get you 60 bucks. I, I tell you, it's cool. But this is obviously something somebody made. It's worth maybe like 10 bucks. 10, I'll take 10. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. Well, Rodney Dean, you feel? Huh? He was literally one of the funniest people to ever live. I loved his humor. He had that self-deprecating humor, you know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. he beat up on himself. This is really cool, but it's probably not worth that much because it's really, really no. I'm going to pass on it, but you made my day, just so you know. All right, what's up? I'm happy. Have a good one. Thank you. Are we having cocktails? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> so this is a martini set from the 1960s. It was really, really fancy back in the day. I'm sure someone paid a lot of money for it back in Probably. You know, 1964 when yeah. this was like super stylish, but I can't use it. You know, hold it another 50 years, it might be cool then. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll make sure and do that. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. A little fancier for me. I prefer to drink out of the can. We have an asbestos sat iron. Asbestos sat iron. But it makes me happy. I don't think I've ever ironed anything. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to either. I'll do 20. OK. This is a ceremonial buzzard bowl. Dates from about the 10th to 15th century. Do you know what it's made of? It's earthenware. OK. Um, even though I'm super interested and want to jump on it and buy it, I just I have no way of telling how old it actually is. Right, uh, right. So I've got a couple coins here for you, uh, foreign and domestic coins. I collected them over the years. from the 1988 Calgary Winter Olympics um, in Canada. And every country, when they do the Olympics, they put out a limited edition of coins. Right. And the uh, problem is, it's Canadian. It's not super collectible. But it is worth the silver in it. So that's why you go 12 bucks. Right. I'm basically buying the silver in it. I gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I think I'll keep it for now. <laughs>